There are no people that life does not touch with tests. Before traveling to China to seek earnings, I considered myself a fairly happy man. I thought about the difficulties we all have, we can handle it. But when you are lying in confusion in intensive care, in a foreign country, after a miraculous return from the other world, and you realize that there is nothing and no one left, you don't even know whether to be grateful for your fate or simply curse. Leia and I met when we were young. Her family lived in Israel for a long time, as my relatives worked as chief doctors in a large clinic. In 2000, we were called to work in Russia under more favorable conditions, taking his wife and daughter. Victor found a family nest in a prestigious residential complex in the city. You can guess that in a family of rich people and spoiled children, Leia has been like this for as long as I can remember. She came to study in our class, 9A. From day one, all my colleagues were brilliant, with originality and the presence of expensive things. I don't know why, of all the handsome guys in the class, she chose the quietest one, a modest student from an average family. Well, that's me, but then I got used to his behavior and his ability to find common ground with everyone. I fell in love with school with Leia. We graduated with honors. The graduation party, where we participated as the most beautiful couple for me, was a memorable moment. Of course, this is all flattering, but she just floated in his world. Over time, I got used to being her shadow and no longer paying attention to the peculiarities of women who did what they wanted. In fact, I'm always fine. I cooked and loved to cook, so with that I quickly decided on my choice of profession. Leia followed me to school, despite her parents' persuasion. So we became budding chefs. I spent five years working in restaurants in the city, and Leia didn't like being subordinate, so she participated in the work. Afterwards, I sat at home and we filmed our downtown apartment, we already lived together as a family. Yes, when you have a wedding, our mutual friends would sarcastically tease me about the possibility of an engagement ring and a dress. One day, I decided for myself that I wouldn't get married until I made money and opened my cafe. I understood that it depended on her father. I didn't want it at all. Well, she didn't mind, she didn't understand me at all. I loved her and sincerely wanted her to be happy with me. Well, how can a woman be happy next to a man who cannot achieve success? The relationship started to deteriorate because of this. I was just biding my time and we were arguing. One day, Leia came home in the morning, very drunk, and said, I'm tired of waiting for you to propose to me. The girls bet that I'd be the first to get married. If they get ahead of me, I'll give up. I remember how angry I was. Yes, and probably even more so with myself. But what could I offer her? She got used to luxury, and I was hunched over in a hot kitchen, not leaving and bringing home only pennies. So, I grabbed my jacket and went to Ilya's house. We sang all day at his house. Well, who, if not a close friend, can support you like a man? Women are women. I also told Ilya, wait, sober up, wake up and start calling. By the way, I apologize to Ilya. She learned from the same chef training courses in parallel classes. It was more or less, but she was a great friend, and I got along better with her than with all the rest of my friends. Everyone laughed and called him Swede, but we laughed about it. We said, join us. Later, at Ilya's house, his father passed away, and he began to care for his mother, who became very ill after the loss of her husband. We often talked to him in person. Presenting their vests to each other, Leia and I also felt sorry for her and tried to support her. What couldn't be taken away from her was her talent for finding the right words. After that, the person established that it is much easier for me too. She was also a source of confidence and strength, with her, in the soul, he became somehow reliable and calm. This time, Ilya was also right. At night, my sniffling nose on the phone asked me if I was coming home. The night was smoothed out together, the last differences between us were resolved, and each one was left with their own problem. Already in the fall, the owner of the restaurant called me, where I worked hard, and offered a job in his new establishment in China. The conditions were not that encouraging, which almost made me lose my mind with joy again. I could save a salary of 3 rubles in 3 years. 
Leia was where it was natural to be, I arranged it next to me, as there were places suggested by Ilya. But his mother was admitted to the hospital and he couldn't leave yet. A month later, we were happy to rent luggage at the airport and it seemed like our successful future with love was coming to fruition. I looked at my girlfriend and couldn't believe that we would soon conquer Asia together. It seemed that I saw joy in her eyes and the inspiration of change admired her, watching how she sat enthusiastically on the phone and corresponded with friends around the world. Then, as I thought everything was revealing itself to me with doors and horizons, I was seriously deceived. It took us about a month to develop the menu and get used to the area. Because of that, I no longer remembered how much work it was, but I enjoyed the real atmosphere. We only talked to Leia in the morning at the cafe and the rest of the time we were literally locked up at work. She was involved in purchasing meat and often went to the market, there, she already had connections. I knew she was a capable girl and I was proud that she was skilled, she would haggle even with the Chinese for the freshest cuts of meat and even get a discount. I remember everyone in the kitchen called me Archio San. Leia laughed boisterously and flirted with the waiters. One day, I started to notice that I felt somehow bad. I felt that the food was not like the Chinese food I knew, kefir and sour cream were missing for pancakes with regular Russian flour. I asked Leia if her stomach reacted badly to Chinese foods. She didn't complain much, but sometimes she felt unwell, had a severe headache and took strong painkillers to go to work. Further, and then the rainy season began. I thought the weather was going to kill me, but I held on with all my strength because I didn't want to complain. I worked hard for her. He was almost invisible, always traveling to markets and night food bases. Soon, Ilya came to us, we reunited Leia and the restaurant was moved to the hot shop. Things have gotten a little easier for us in terms of employment. I worked with the boss until 9 pm, and Leia until 10 pm. I went home early and posted there. Ilya used to drink beer and kept me company at night. We talked a lot about different things, mostly, Ilya told me about his lovers. She had been having some flings lately and there had been some sort of crush for over a year. We rarely met since the girl was a married friend. He said he just asked her to leave her husband, but she replied that she was happy with everything. Because of this, Ilya drank madly and came to get me. At that time, I had already stopped drinking alcohol a long time ago because I had a stomach ache and the medicine didn't help. The day everything happened, I didn't even go to work. I was so sick that I decided to lie down. In the evening, I felt a little better in bed and wanted to cook something to eat at home. I couldn't find an ounce of meat, so I called Veronica and asked her to bring simpler prepared food from the restaurant for dinner. I cooked myself some eggs. Well, at least I ate something. When my girlfriend came home, we were either drunk or already waiting for her. She brought the loot, and you probably wonder, did you guess something? Our last night didn't bother me. I was alarmed, thinking that it might be because of my weakened body and pain that I lost my vigilance. And then, when the whole truth was revealed to me, I didn't immediately understand what it was about. It happened to me in my happiness, full of beautiful prospects in life. But how could I, even in my most tempestuous moment, fantasize about something that was the beginning of what happened next? It was somehow surreal. Leia came home with two packages. I also drew different colors back then. I noticed that she put the yellow package on one side and the black one on the other. He started eating snacks and drinking beer with Ilya. I laughed at that. Supposedly, she was offended and decided not to feed me, but it was the day before Leia and I fought again. Because of the wedding, when we were shopping and I went to the jewelry salon, Leia came with me. She turned to the cabinet defiantly, took out three cups, and unwrapped the yellow package. The package smelled of cooked duck and onions, with bowls full of broth and meat. I swallowed my saliva and smiled happily. Then there were saucers with snacks, fragrant snow white rice, and rice buns. Then I thought about what else there could be. Despite the fight, I still cared, loved me. Leia set aside a cup of food, explaining that it was there without Chinese spices. Ilya quietly went down, chewed the head into buns and washed it down with beer. He didn't look at Leia, 
and she seemed to try not to notice him. But the hungry man had no time for that, I already had chopsticks in anticipation and was stretching behind a glass of water. Yarkin hung up the phone in the hallway and fled with it to his bedroom. My father called me and Ilya was left alone in the kitchen, hanging in some awkward silence. He put his chopsticks aside after taking a sip of water. Something happened that I didn't know about. I asked my friend, I don't even know what he meant. Ilya muttered in a soft voice and looked at me somehow guiltily, with a genuinely embarrassed look. Well, tell me how not to eat strange food, returning the glass to the table. He looked at him with displeasure. Ilya grabbed his head with his hands, roughly tousling it, and then rubbed his old, flushed face. For some reason, he came to me abruptly. The way he played it, I handed over my glass and dropped it. Leia's plate was full of water from her vegetable stew. Ilya stepped back, and we silently watched. The conspirators laughed, and I forgot the conversation with a friend. I started replacing dishes, rearranging my rice and stew on Leia's plates until she returned. She yelled at us, had to pack up quickly, removing all the water and adding soy sauce and seasonings to her bowls, so she wouldn't notice the substitution. I improved in the kitchen and confessed to Ilya that I was proud of his girl. Leia has always had a quick ability to learn our Chinese dishes. For what it's worth, noodles are crazy about their cabbage rolls. Told a friend you know, next month, I will propose to her. She whispered softly to him, covering his mouth with her hand. Can you help me organize everything? Or he suddenly became somehow gloomy, began to walk around the kitchen unevenly, eyes wandering and thinking about something. Then abruptly got ready for himself, shook my hand and left quickly, deciding that a friend envies me because he is personally, I'm fine. I shook my head to myself, nothing calmed down and I started to kill the rice in my bowl, leaving Leia to the dishes. I sank, so I'll tell Lurka that Ilya is already with us. We ate the rest of the time before the tragedy. We and Leroy kept silent, she was visibly nervous and answered my questions, worried about dad. I didn't say hello several times. My fiancé seemed to freeze, watching silently as I absorbed the food. Then, it was as if she was coming back from her external and somehow detached thoughts. I brought chopsticks with a piece of rice to the table. We finished the meal. The girl carefully washed the dishes and cleared the table. I smoked, turning away from the window, and she stood there at the table, waiting for something. Then he fell to the ground, his face contorted. I was scared, I ran to her, asked and begged, tell me what's wrong. Lurka turned pale before my eyes, unable to say a word. The words, trapped by pain, rested in her arms, and she gradually lost consciousness. I will never forget the surprised look that slowly darkened and how life was leaving her in what seemed like minutes. The ambulance took a long time. Painful hours passed. When I finally regained consciousness, my stomach hurt and I decided we had eaten something that wasn't new. Emergency room doctors literally kicked down the door because I had gone into shock. Apparently, I couldn't control myself and was left sitting with Lurka, unconscious, on the kitchen floor. We were taken away in an ambulance. They put an oxygen mask on me. I was barely missing anything, thinking. And when I woke up next to my hospital bed, there was a police officer on duty. I called my sister to inform her about my condition. A woman in a gray suit came and, in broken English, asked if I needed a translator. I nodded. My first question was about what happened to Valeria. When I received the answer, I again fell somewhere into the void. Someone was messing with me, and I just wanted peace and quiet, as they said. Later, when I was beyond failure and on the verge of coma, I came to myself several times due to the consequences of poisoning myself again and being revived. Then, almost two months passed, and before I knew the truth, people from the police kept coming to me. They asked some strange questions, did you and your fiancé fight? Maybe your friend was having lunch with you. Did she cheat? So, read, my advice here, greedy Chinese, I knew, or rather I thought that in China she had no one. I had many friends and acquaintances, but I still couldn't imagine her with anyone. And when was the last time you thought about your closest friend? 
he appeared on the threshold of my room. In China, the laws are very strict, and for remaining silent about the attempted murder, he faces imprisonment. Ilya arrived before the prison to repent for now. He told me a scary story that didn't seem to happen to me. The gray hairs moved on my head. Well, how could she think of such a thing and how did my best friend manage to remain silent? They slept while I slaved, and I beat myself up for postponing the wedding. Yes, Leia got what she wanted. She quickly found a way to take his soul away. Ilya came to us and slept with my girlfriend. Then I listened to my stories, she was with her, drinking a pint of beer, and tapped me on the shoulder encouragingly. Yes, I believed it. We both enjoyed that unhappy night. The poisoned rice with vegetables was planned for me. Was it a miracle or did Ilya realize it? On the plate, he deliberately knocked over a glass of water. I just know that, in an instant, I was left without my loved one, without a friend, without health and without a future. My disability will not give me the opportunity to make a career. When Leia's body arrived, they didn't even come to pick up her parents. Later, one of our mutual friends said that her father cursed the day he and his family returned to Russia.